let's say the first job, my father had a retail business in the small town of Myrtle, General Mercantile Stores, they were called at that time. And he put a little stand out in front of the store and let me sell chewing gum and candy when I was 10 years old. And I remember the boy who stole the bar of candy from me, never paid me. Victor Lee Smith, <laughs> a, co a cousin, a cousin. When I was a kid growing up, they scared the girls about mad dogs. Yeah, rabies. And he caught my attention by saying, there was a whole gang standing around by saying, oh, look, that's a mad dog. Well, oh, you know, you look. And I saw him out of the corner of my eye get that dark end. I said, Victor Lee, you owe me a nickel. I never got my nickel. And let's see, from that I progressed to working in my daddy's store here in New Albany. Did I run the New Albany Were store? You in charge of the I was not in charge of anything but selling shoestrings. <laughs> 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 but from that I progressed. And uh, on Saturdays as I grew older, I, I worked in the store. And back then you did not close at a certain time. You stayed in the store open as long as it was someone on the street. And I won't tell you the name of the lady who was always the last customer because she still has people living in New Albany. But we knew to wait for Miss Blank to come in before we closed the store and went home to Myrtle. Lots of times it would be 1 o'clock in the morning because people liked to visit up and down the street. People would park in the cars and people would walk up and stop and speak and talk with people. And you just waited because you had to have every dime you could make back then. Would she buy things, or did she just visit? Sometimes just visit, sometimes try on a pair of shoes, maybe buy a pair of hoes. Not always did she purchase anything, but that was just a ritual with my dad, and he did not want to leave her without giving her the privilege of coming into the store.